Hello guys, this is Anurag. Today we are going to see about types of gears. So types of gears uh, uh, are, uh, there are uh, six types of gears. Uh, first one, uh, spur gear, helical gear, double gear, double helical, bevel gear, bracket pinion gear, warm gear. Okay, these are the gears types. Uh, first, we uh, have uh, uh, spur gear. Spur gear or straight cut gears are the simplest gear uh, which consists of a cylinder or a disc with the teeth projecting radially. Uh, the tooth face are straight and are aligned to the axis of rotation. Spur gear offers cost and velocity and quite reliable. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there are the the uh, the spur gear axis are straight, uh, straight um, but not angled and parallel to the uh, axis. This is the axis. This one, this is uh, vertical uh, horizontal. This is the horizontal uh, vertical axis. Okay, uh, it is parallel to that. Uh, okay, next one is the uh, spur gear offers constant velocity and quite reliable. They are uh, they offers constant velocity and are quite reliable. Uh, okay, they uh, they work in the moderate speed. They can uh, they work excellently in moderate speed and uh, a bit noisy in uh, higher speeds. Next one, uh, helical gear. Helical gears have uh, teeth cut in an angle, cut at an angle, uh, which are, which is which are similar to spur gear, but uh, the uh, teeth are cut at an angle instead of being straight and parallel. Instead of being straight and parallel, they are cut into an angle. Okay, the line of contact between the two teeth is not parallel, but uh, inclined. As the teeth are uh, inclined, the line of contact also inclined. Uh, they run smoothly and quieter than the spur gear. Uh, they can run at high speed and the, uh, the power transmission is also same as the spur gear. So it uh, came over the uh, come out, came over the disadvantage of the spur gear, but it has another disadvantage is that, uh, that is uh, rectified in the next uh, gear. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, axis, uh, axis is horizontal. Uh, it is inclined to the axis. Uh, the angle is called as helical angle. Uh, according to our standards, uh, the angle, helical angle must be uh, 14, 20 or 25. Next one. Uh, double helical or hearing bone gears. Uh, the, these are the special type of gear which uh, which resembles uh, uh, which are nothing but uh, two helical gears join uh, together to form a V groove, uh, V teeth, V pattern. The teeth which is also uh, with the pattern is called as V pa hearing bone pattern. Okay, let us see. Hearing bone gear is a side to side combination of the two gears opposite hand. Uh, they are uh, nothing but helical gear. Uh, two helical gears uh, side to side combination. Uh, from the top, it looks like a V, letter V, and uh, many together form a herringbone pattern. Uh, as you can see, that uh, this V has a uh, V is nothing. V is nothing but the uh, herringbone pattern. Herringbone gear does not produce an additional axial load as the uh, as the side thrust is balanced. Uh, side thrust is balanced. Uh, Balance so it doesn't produce an additional axial load. Uh, the helical gear produces a helical gear produces a side thrust, uh, so there will be a loss in transmission. Uh, the double helical, uh, the double helical or hearing bone uh, come, up, come over the uh, disadvantages. Next one, bevel gear. Uh, bevel gear is a special type of gear where uh, the would be the the that would be uh, not. Uh, it would be a non. Uh, it would be not not like a normal gear. Uh, they they don't uh, power tra transmit power parallelly. They pa transmit power perpendicularly perpendicular to each other. Bevel gears are the gear where the axes of two shaft intersect and the two uh, two bearing faces of the gear, gear themselves are conically shaped. Uh, as you can see, the helical uh, helical thing is there. No, uh, the helical gear uh, when it is mounted mounted like this mounted like this. It becomes uh, uh, it transmit like this power uh, power is transmitted it pretty, uh, like this it could transmit so the uh, when the shaft is connected at 90 degrees so the power transmission would be good uh, and the conical shape is because of the uh, as you can uh, as you can see the the uh, gear would be gear teeth would be like this like this uh, so when we join this it would form a cone could form a cone uh, that's what they are saying. Uh, basically, they are mounted on the shafts that work on 90 degree. Uh, they work 90 degree. Uh, they power. Uh, they transmit power 90 degree. Okay. The pitch surface of the uh, pitch surface of the bevel gear is a cone. So it is called as pitch cone. Okay. Uh, you got the you got the point. The pitch surface is conical in shape, 
Uh, so it is a the uh, so the uh, surface area of the cone is nothing but the pitch cone. Okay, uh, this mechanism, uh, this uh, bevel gear is used in the handle. Bevel gear. Okay, next one is the rack and pinion gear. Uh, rack and pinion gear also is uh, it's a special type of gear which uses the uh, which transmits the linear motion, uh, linear motion into a rotational motion uh, or a rotational motion into a linear motion. Uh, uh, for example, see the picture uh, as the as the gear uh, as the pinion rotates. This uh, this one is called the blue one is called as pinion and the golden one is called as rack. Uh, the pinion as the pinion rotates, the uh, the rack uh, rack move. Uh, so uh, the uh, as as it uh, as the pinion rotates anti clockwise uh, sorry clockwise, the rack will move this way uh, towards the uh, towards the left. Uh, uh, as you can see that uh, when uh, the pinion is uh, pinion is moved uh, pinion moves moves uh, rightwards uh, it, it would rotate uh, anti clockwise uh, that's what uh, he says uh, uh, rack and pinion gear is a uh, type of uh, linear equipment that comprises uh, say, circular gear circular gear circular gear sorry circular gear uh, circular gear here this is called as pinion and engaging a linear gear linear gear engaging a linear gear okay uh, this operates uh, trans uh, this operate uh, uh, which translates the rotational motion into linear motion uh, or a linear motion to rotational motion the driving rack linearly uh, driving the rack linearly driving the rack linearly will cause uh, the uh, pinion to rotate pinion to rotate the rack and pinion gear can also be both helical or uh, spur gears uh, helical or spur gears uh, that is uh, it can be angled, inclined, or inclined, inclined or straight, straight. Warm gear. Warm gear is the gear arrangement in which warm meshes with a warm wheel. Uh, warm, warm meshes with a warm wheel. Uh, warm meshes with a warm wheel. Uh, they have two elements. So two elements. So this one is a warm screw, warm wheel. Uh, next one, warm screw and warm wheel. It is used in the milling machine index inflator. Okay, that's all about the types of uh, warm uh, warm gear. As you can see here, the warm wheel is here and the warm is there. Uh, warm. This is the warm shaft. As you can see, the the, the transfer of power. Yeah, as the this rotates, this gear will rotate like this. Thank you.